Okay, I don't have that much time. I have an hour. Oh, 40 minutes. This is the new rigs. I might have to come back. The vans, not interested in the vans. It's a Bambi. Globetrotter 30 feet. Okay, what we don't like about this model is the table. Where do you put all the computer cords? There's a plug down there. However, all your computer cords are on this side of the table now. This is the 30. The only thing I don't like about this. Did they put in a bigger closet? Oh, they did put in a bigger closet. Mm. <clears throat> it's still too big. Uh, they're all flying clouds. Why are they all flying clouds? Uh. We did not like the Zipdiani. It was a third party person and he was just, for the first 50 minutes, he was just talking about his own <coughs> camping experience and his SOB. He wasn't even an Airstream. So I left. I never got information regarding Zipdi. I, I'm getting three little holes in our awning. It's not their fault. It's just normal wear and tear. And I want to get patches for it. And no information regarding that. Ridiculous. So the Zip Dioning presentation, cut it out. Okay, so this is the next one we're gonna do. Cooking with Instapot. Love Instapot. Oh, look at this. These are people. <clears throat> that we really don't care about. And here's our a bunch of frozen meatballs in this thing. Some people we've had in the past have said, why did it take an hour and a half for it to come to pressure? Well, because what you've thrown in there is frozen. So literally what it has to do is unfreeze it and then start to cook it and then get to that point where it can build pressure. So that's why we, I always like starting with sauteing, whether that's my vegetables or whether that's my meat that I'm browning. I always like to start it because it's gonna start to get that process kind of already there. Once I'm sauteing all this, and I even let it continue to cook as I'm adding my broth or my uh, sauce, it will still start to boil that and bring that to temperature. So that way, when I actually get to that point to actually pressure cook, it's already gonna be there. And it cuts time uh, uh, quite a bit. It almost, we're gonna see one of the safety features, yeah. the drop valve. So there is a valve that actually moves up and down when uh, pressure comes into play. So when I got to pressure, that valve lifted, when I'm done with the pressure, that valve is going to drop down. That's what's going to tell me that the pressure has been completely released from the actual instant pot. And you cannot open the lid right. while the valve is up. Correct. Unless you manhandle it. Yes. So that is one of the safety features. You cannot, once this comes to pressure, you cannot get this lid off, even if you manhandle or woman handle. Even if you handle it in such a way, you are not going to get that lid off. Hello. Hello. Oh, Ariel. 
I'm supposed to film Walter volunteering. Okay, film Walter volunteering. He gets so involved, he ignores you. I'm good. <laughs> you know, I just walk around with this. <laughs> Oh, he's working. Yeah. No, well, so is Walter this morning. He was doing payroll. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm Walter. I'm a first time member and I'm volunteering as a cashier every afternoon from 1 to 4. And this is for the Wally Byam. Caravan Club International Foundation. It's a charity. And by putting it out over here and then holding their change right over the bucket, people will frequently just drop their change into the bucket. So that's how I'm raising money for the foundation. Oh, we just found that. So, hi, how can I help you? I just want to buy a bag of ice. Okay, that's $4.20. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Are you here every, is she here every day? Oh. Three of them are working and one isn't. In fact, I'm going to go talk to my chief of MSC. I'd like. Okay. You want one? No, uh, I want three. Wow. Oh. We can do that. She's counting. I made that. No, she's counting. Oh, you made this? I want the pattern. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. I, I wanted one that does this. Oh, so you can yes. Oh, I love it. That is Millie. She's McDonald's. the one in charge of everyone. Yeah, Millie, yeah. say hello to the camera so you can be famous. You'll be on YouTube now. Hi, Camille. You know, our Airstreams are unique. If you don't have an Airstream, it's actually kind of easy. You have a ladder in the back of your flat sided roof and you put a pole in the ladder and you're kind of golden, right? Ours are a little bit more complicated. And if, like me, you run, you run WBCCI flags, that, <laughs> that, that's a problem. I had to choose between my flags and Starlink, so, you know, it's, it's always a challenge. <laughs> but I have a way now I can do both. <laughs> YouTube is really good, too. All right, here we are at the UPS store. And what we're doing is we are shipping the Starlink back to Justin because we're having hardware problems it's not the cord we have brand new cord everything goes back and Justin's getting a brand new hardware the entire TPMS which we already have but we're going for the internet on the go because Starlink hardware failed on us it worked for three hours when we checked in, and then the hardware failed. All right, so, super easy now. There's one piece of paper in here, okay? Okay. The top of it, this part, yes. is how to register it. Okay. I've already done it. Done. Don't do this. All that's left, one, two, and three, I'm going to go to that right now with you, so that you see it, okay? Okay. So on the inside, that's the name of your network. Okay. Are we on the so we're going to do two things with you. We're going to pay for the unit, and then we're going to set up your subscription. I'm going to register everything with you right here. So when you walk away, all you got to do is plug it in, turn it on, and you can go use it. Okay? Perfect. So and I'll do the same thing. Perfect. Yours are already paid for, but we'll also set up your subscription also. I just want to plug it in. <laughs> okay. And then underneath here, you'll find your antennas. And the two larger antennas are your Wi-Fi, and again, the antennas are labeled, and the unit is labeled.
to match them up. Okay. And the four smaller antennas, one, two, three, four, no specific order, just put them on there. And again, those are your cellular antennas, okay? And you've got some uh, Velcro tape to keep things nice and neat, okay? Good for you. In here, you've got everything in there you need, your password and everything, and it will be live probably before you get back to your phone. Okay. okay, is that all there is to it? That's all there is. Last thing I got, I'm, I am giving the free 12 volt, so you get that for free, and then that's it. Go plug it in. Where's when, the plug? When you get back to your coach, there's three lights on the front. How to know it's completely booted up is when you have three solid green lights, then you'll know it's completely booted up, okay? If it's still flashing, then you know it's still trying to boot up. So it takes about two and a half minutes-ish to completely boot up. And where, where do you put this? Anywhere, Anywhere you want. Doesn't matter. If you put it in a closet, will it still It'll work? work. Yeah. Put it in a closet. And the cord you gave is for a cigarette, mm -hmm. and it also has a regular power In the box. Cord. Okay. It has 110 in the box. Hi. I'd like to make it more complicated. Oh, please. Make it more complicated. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Thank give that you. to you. Thank You're all set. You. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks a lot for your help. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the business. Good luck. Bye. All right. You ready? Don't forget your iPad. Yeah. That's just how to plug it in. Okay. Okay. So your router's right on the top. And it comes in a 110 cord inside. There's the 110. Oh, perfect. GPS, just like what I said, just okay. set it on the top. And then underneath at the bottom here, those are your antennas. antennas. Okay, now you said these Larger are labeled. Larger two Wi-Fi, everything's labeled. And these are, it no. doesn't matter. Nope. Okay. doesn't matter. So super easy. I'm gonna put everything back in there for you. We'll get it in a bag. Okay, now what's that? That is your so there's three lights right on the front there. Oh, you can there. See them. It okay. takes about two and a half minutes to boot up. And what you're looking for is three solid green lights. One, two, and three. Okay. When you have three solid green lights, you're good to go. Okay. Now, when I'm packing and moving to a different cat RV site, mm -hmm. do I need to unplug this don't first? To. Or it's up to you. I Leave just it leave it? Mine's plugged? on 24 7, seven days a week. Her, oh, I one, never turn it off. One on. less thing to do. Oh. And okay. that is for you. Thank you, Michael. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, we're going to be in the booth until Friday. Okay, so there, is that a phone back. number to, to turn it's it on? on the inside lid, right where that username and password, there's a phone number we're there, making too. making it too easy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Hello. See, he just sits around. I just sit around. He just sits around. I come here and sit for four hours, three hours a day. And there are still people that haven't picked up their name tags. Oh, well, there's still name tags being made. Oh, there's still name tags being made. Okay, I have our new wireless. Okay. When are they coming? What? When are they coming? It's already set up. Oh. I just yeah. need to plug it in. Hi, right, did you need something? No, I'm just, I'm just going to I'm, I'm okay. so honey over there. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm just walking around. You, you can't sit for so long. South Florida. Yeah. I think I probably already asked you this. South Florida, does that include Fort Myers? Yes. It does. That's where my mom used to live. Yeah. Oh, how exciting. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and thank you for dropping by our little club the, the other night. I enjoyed the hell out of it. <laughs>